you know, as a new agent, let's do the shotgun approach. Let's just, you know, machine gun it. Let's just go as many little average price points as we can. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. So Ricky, how do you go about deciding who you're going to make your calls to? Like, for example, uh, I wondered after our last call, if you were uh, focused on particular sets of condos or anything like that, you, you know, you've said before, uh, you know, I make calls to people that are going to sell the property that I want to sell. What, what is that? How do you define that? Well, um, you know, number one, let me just throw this out there. Does not matter, right? Just do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like number one, like don't try to calculate this and calculate that. You just pick your subdivision out and dive in because you're only going to be in that sucker for about a day or two calling them people, and that one's going to be done. And whatever you learn from that, you're like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna strategically pick a better one because of this reasoning. You know. You don't know until you get in there and decide, you know, where your weaknesses and strengths are. Everybody's different, right? But the general answer is, is pick something close to the average price of your market and pick something geographically close to where you work. That way you're right in the sweet spot price range of the market and you're not spending a lot of time. You're strategically not spending a lot of time on the road, you know? So again, let's keep it simple. <laughs> I love it. it and, and I see I see from the broker side too, you get a lot of new agents that come in and, and they're like, well, I don't want to sell those $100,000 homes. I want to sell the $300,000 homes because I'm going to make more money. But just like you said, if you're in that $100,000 range, that's what you need to sell. And Look, man, there's guys that sell these, you know, five and $10 million properties in my market. I crush their numbers at the end of the year because I'm selling, you know, you know, 30, you know, $400,000 properties during the time they spent trying to sell that five or $10 million property. Um, you know, I'm kind of the king of the average price around here. Like I don't do too many over a million. Um, I'll do one here and there. Um, you know, the six and seven hundreds, you know, not a whole lot. I'm more of the three to 500 you know, uh, three to 500 range, three to six is kind of my, my sweet spot. That's what I sell a lot of. I'm not really known for the big, big deals or the big heavy hitters, but I am known for selling more than anybody. Um, so, but, you know, when, when you look at that situation with the 100,000 versus the million dollar sale, this is what I would say, you know, as a new agent, let's do the shotgun approach. Let's just, you know, machine gun it. Let's just go as many little average price points as we can, you know, just to get some experience, get some sales going, talk to some people, you know, get some activity going. You know, we need activity right now. You know what I mean? And so the thing is, is once you get your feet wet and you understand, okay, now I'm getting a little better at communicating, let's diversify our portfolio. You know, let's let's go after the, 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 the we were at 100, Okay, let's let's just say, you know, for example, 300 is the average price point. Want to hit that for a while, and then we want to move up to that six to 800 range, and maybe even hit a couple million. But we got all this 300 range stuff under our belt. We've been hitting that for months and months. Okay, now we just want to kind of dabble into the upper luxury uh, home market, you know, for a second, just to kind of diversify, get a little bit of that going on while our bread and butter is still rolling. And then I also would suggest going a little under, you know, if you're at 300, let's get down into the 150 to 200 range. And then you got your three, you got a little under average price, average price, high luxury. And then you're kind of diversifying the market. Because what I've seen is, is that, you know, a lot of times the average price will do good. And then the, the luxury market will be on fire for a year. And then it'll cool off. And it's like, you can't give away a million dollar home. You know, and it's like, man, and then, you know, you turn around, that's on fire. And, you know, the average point, the average price, you know, went down or say, yeah, like the, the market will, will, will move around. You never know, like, like down here on the beach, you know, one, there's one bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, four bedrooms. It's funny because the one bedrooms will be on fire. They'll like, they'll like go up like 30% in a year and the twos and threes will just stay, stay, you know, flat. 
And it's like, wait a minute, you know, this doesn't make sense. And, and I'm like, all right, come on buyers. Like you need to buy you a two or three bedroom because the one bedroom is shooting up and the two and threes are just chilling. And then the next year, the twos and threes will be on fire. You know what I mean? And it's like the market is just you never know where exactly the hot spot's gonna be. That's why that's why in the beginning it's good to just do do as much as you can. It doesn't really matter. But once you get into a place where you feel feeling good about the market, it's good to kind of diversify your your portfolio. <laughs> you know what I mean?